Hi, I'm Susie Sa, and this is The Rundown. A rail car near Paris has a chemical leak and could be on the verge of exploding. Nearly 200 homes and businesses are evacuated, and the 215 freeway is shut down and could continue to be closed for days. Officials say chemicals inside the car are growing superheated right now, possibly from an expired stabilizing agent. Loved ones of actress Anne Heche had been hoping for a miracle after her horrific crash last week in Mar Vista. But now the family is making arrangements to fulfill her wish of being an organ donor. Reps for Heche say she is legally dead while the LAPD continues its investigation into the crash. A rainbow halo ceremony in South LA today to remember a hit and run victim and a call to do more to prevent deadly crashes. The multicolored rainbow disc was put up at Normandy and 51st Street, the intersection where Jaime Wilson was killed three years ago. And now let's take a look at your forecast with meteorologist Marquina Brown. Beach hazard statement in effect. Got to let you know about this because it's so hot. Lots of folks are headed to the beach as they should. But know if you are headed to L.A. or Ventura County beaches that we have a high tide that is possible as we go through the evening tonight. So be careful if you are going to be doing any swimming. The other thing you need to watch out for is the heat. We've been dealing with that for the last few weeks today. No different heat advisory in effect as we go through not only today, but through all of Saturday in this area. In the orange, some folks could see temperatures get as hot as 104. Remember, we're always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, and you can watch anytime on our free CBS LA app and on CBSLA.com. I'm Susie Suh.